Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Light to the Nations. And our scripture is Isaiah's prophecy, chapter 51, where the prophet says that God said, Listen to me, my people. Hear me, Israel, for my law will be proclaimed, and my justice will become a light to the nations. My mercy and justice are coming soon. My salvation is on the way. My strong arm will bring justice to the nations. All distant lands will look to me and wait in hope for my powerful arm. Look up to the skies above and gaze down on the earth below, for the skies will disappear like smoke and the earth will wear out like a piece of clothing. The people of the earth will die like flies, but my salvation lasts forever. My righteous rule will never end. In yesterday's post, I shared some of the popular culture's opinion about how the organized church, quote-unquote, is boring or out of touch, antiquated, and without a hope of continuing. The look of things on the landscape of the 21st century would appear to validate that, with less attendance or support, a lower sense of commitment and cultural norms aimed at whatever pleases the individual. Community has been reduced to social media clicks and wokeness for the rights of individuals without the slightest nod in the direction of heaven. The 21st century is a heathen paradise, self-absorbed, inflated, and very angry. That's not a pretty picture, or flattering in any way. Truth can be quite startling, often harsh on the ears, but truth cannot be made to be a lie. We have returned to the days of Noah where it broke God's heart he had ever created us. And truth is why the church matters. The truth of our moral collapse and sin's great offense in heaven is the reason the church exists, to worship God, certainly, but also to proclaim His great mercy and love, His light to the nations. This is so well declared in Ernest Nichols' great hymn, We've a Story to Tell to the Nations. Listen to the words. We've a story to tell to the nations that shall turn their hearts to the right. A story of truth and mercy. A story of peace and light. A story of peace and light. We've a song to be sung to the nations that shall lift their hearts to the Lord. A song that shall conquer evil and shatter the spear and sword. And shatter the spear and sword. We've a message to give to the nations that the Lord who reigneth above has sent us his Son to save us and show us that God is love and show us that God is love. We've a Savior to show to the nations who the path of sorrow has trod that all of the world's great peoples may come to the truth of God, may come to the truth of God. For the darkness shall turn to dawning, and the dawning to noonday bright, and Christ's great kingdom shall come on earth, the kingdom of love and light. For you today, those who believe the church is done have misread or misunderstood history and the nature of God. He loves the church, his creation, and he also loves every human who has ever drawn breath. And he has given the church the song of his love to be sung to each generation. The kingdom of Christ is coming, and nothing less than the absolute rule of Christ will count for anything when that happens. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.